It's a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. Um, so you made history making this final. What has the reaction been like from home? The support is amazing, like it's overwhelming and I just couldn't really believe how much people are actually supporting me at home. It's just unreal. And you and Reese have really like been bringing Irish gymnastics up. Like what has changed? What do you think the difference is? Um, well, Gymnastics Island have put in place some performance pathways and I think me and Reese are really the first people to break through with it and um, it's really raising the profile of gymnastics in Ireland and it's really great. Yeah. Um, so the, the bars fall today, it looked like it really hurt and like every gymnast has fallen like that but you're normally allowed like in podium training to put a crash pad in. Do you think that the FIG should allow that for your actual competition, not just podium? Yeah, I think it could definitely prevent a few injuries, um, especially because the landing itself is really hard on a mat, like, wouldn't really do any harm. Um, and I think it would save a lot of people some serious injuries. Yeah. Um, what do you want people to know about your gymnastics and your journey to get here? Um, kind of just, <laughs> I don't know, like it's just a bit surreal for me because Obviously, it's, I'm the first person from my country to qualify to a, a world final and also a European final. Um, so to come from a country that doesn't really have a high level of gymnastics um, at my age and then come up and do this, it's just, I can't even believe it. <laughs> well, your form is so beautiful. Your masters is beautiful. Thank you for giving us that gift. Thank you so much. <laughs> so nice to meet you. You too. Thanks. Earliest memories are just tumbling like a crazy kid on tumble track. <laughs> tumble track has been a part like of our family and our gymnastics and our gym for as long as I can remember.